There's three main reasons why I'm still sober today. One of them is the main reasons AA, of course, music and having a job. Why do we hurt each other? Simply cause we are angry With the world around us And that won't change a thing Why do we blame each other? It's only that the media wants us To think it's all doom and gloom But we can change the scene So she revolution is coming the powers won't be able to stop us Soon we'll all be free That's how it's meant to win You find peace within Yet will resonate Right from me and you Tim, that energy was heaps better. Heaps yep. better. I can just hear that there's a slight... Um, Breath? Yeah, there's still a little breath issue. It's just like there's not quite enough in there. You need, obviously, a big tank for this yep. one, don't you? So um, let's go from that. Let's go from the chorus. I was born in a town called Maxville, mid north coast of New South Wales, and uh, then I was when I was two months old. My parents drove down to uh, Redfern. Both my parents had families living in the in the block at the time, and then six months later, I was fostered out. I was uh, put in a orphanage in Parramatta and uh, I was picked up uh, two months later by uh, foster parents. They lived in East Hills, which is a western suburb of Sydney. It was mostly happy. I had a foster sister and foster brother. Foster brother uh, didn't turn out so well. He ran away from home, um, as we all did in the end. But uh, it wasn't until my foster mother uh, passed away that the things just went pear-shaped. Uh, it was six days after my 12th birthday and then a year after that I ran away from home. The reason why I did, well, the loss of a mother, one the biggest thing a child can go through. Um, then uh, my foster dad wasn't handling it all too well. He had got a girlfriend and I didn't like that, so that's when I left. I knew through the news <clears throat> that um, there was a lot of people in, Aboriginal people in Redfern, so I went to the block and I found my family connections there. But I'd, I'd move around a lot because that's when I started um, having a drug and alcohol problem and that sort of uh, took my life wherever the, yeah, it was, uh, started to become a little bit chaotic at that moment, yeah. Can I get a uh, large skim cap with honey? Of course. Yeah. And then I decided just to pretty much lounge surf and just go wherever the alcohol was. I'd move into a place where there was rampant alcohol drinking and I'd just keep moving around like that. And then um, eventually it led to homelessness. Yeah. So I'd lived on the street previously, but I um, went back on the street and just wanted to drink myself to death. The suicide attempts were started to come, come, into, uh, come into play. Um, Probably around about the age of uh, 19, 18, 19. There was always thoughts of it. The thoughts were always there. They were becoming more and more often uh, because I found out that medicating for alcohol and drugs doesn't work after a while. And uh, the only other option I thought was to, to, to kill myself. And then I was uh, going to hang myself this one morning, about three in the morning, down Wollamaloo, and uh, my cousin, he just came around the corner and stopped me. I was saving. Yeah. That was the turning point, that moment right there, because then I realised that someone actually cared for me, which I really didn't think so. Or if I did think so, I really didn't care, until that moment. Mm. Then that changed it all. When I got back to Sydney after coming out of the rehab, I was still, I was still homeless technically. I was still lounge surfing and going in homeless shelters and stuff. But I, uh, I was still working for this company called uh, Tribal Warrior Association, and they had some um, flyers for jobs, and one of them was uh, Indigenous employment through Woolworths. I've been at uh, Woolworths now just over five years, almost the same length of time as my sobriety. Because I, I was able to get a, gain an income through Woolworths, 
I uh, that was uh, enabled me to get because uh, I've always wanted to get back into the music. So that enabled me to get things like keyboards and stuff like that. And um, but to further enhance my music, I wanted to go back to TAFE. And because I was working full time, that wasn't possible. So I asked Woolworths if I could do that. They said, "Yep, you can go back to part time." So I was able to, um, you know, begin my music career through TAFE because Woolworths was able to be flexible with my hours and stuff, and they still are. So uh, during my sobriety, I've become a political activist, and, and that's also the subject of my songs, uh, particularly social revolution. Free. That's how it's meant to win. You find peace within. It will resonate right from me and you. We all must come together. Everything will get done. You and I will be free. Green Hand Band, that's the name of the band, and I formed this band particularly through the community. And the idea was to um, get a band together so we can like tour and spread the message of uh, drug and alcohol awareness and um, political awareness. We'll have to tour uh, first around Sydney, probably do some NADOC gigs, um, and then uh, nationally, and then internationally, hopefully. There's an Indigenous festival in Canada I'd like to try and get us in. And um, the, the way we'd get recognised through that would be um, uh, doing WOMAD in Adelaide, which is a world music festival. So uh, that's the um, five-year plan at the moment. Uh, conquer Australia and then, then the world. I've expressed to Woolworths that obviously won't be staying with them and they're fine with that. I even told the CEO that. <laughs> Looking back now, um, 2008, you know, I was living in a dumped car. And now I've got my own place. Uh, I have, uh, you know, I, I've uh, achieved all them goals of um, different uh, degrees in studying, and I'm happy most of the time. As opposed to back then, I was happy probably not very often. I just have a whole new lease on life, yeah? It's undescribable how different life is today. I mean, you can imagine being on the street, drinking every day and living in a dump car, where you can put all your, all your earthly belongings in one little bag, compared to now. Got all new, you know, a whole lot of new friends and uh, supportive people around me. And it's, uh, and I'm spiritually, emotionally and content. The sky's the limit now, and um, so hopefully in a couple of months' time I'll be touring with my band, spreading the message of peace and love. <laughs> Social revolution is coming. The powers won't be able to stop us. Soon we'll all be free. That's how it's meant to win. We find peace within. Yet we'll resonate right from me and you. We all must come together. And everything will get done. You and I will be free. We will be free. We will be free. We will be free.